Hello everybody. Not even a long time ago, I was stepping into the world of astrophotography. And for me, it felt a little overwhelming, just because it felt so complicated and the price of the gear and all that. I didn't know what to buy or what would have been good for me. Fast forward to the present moment, I have learned a few things along the way and I want to tell you about it to make it a little bit easier for you. I am talking about a budget setup for deep sky astrophotography. So here we have a DSLR camera, telescope or lens, a star tracker and tripod. And of course you want to use an inner velometer and a dew heater, but that's it. This was my very first astrophotography rig that I got and I have used it about two years and I still absolutely love it. It just don't get any more simple than this. Even after two years, this is still bringing me value because it's an excellent travel system and the scope here can be also used as a guide scope. So if you are thinking about upgrading on a bigger scope in the future, you don't necessarily need to buy a guide scope if you already have this. This little scope, also known as Asgar FMA 180, does a surprisingly good job at collecting light with a focal ratio of f4.5. It has 40 millimeters of aperture and it provides a nice wide field of view with a focal length of 180 millimeters. I use a standard T-ring adapter to connect the scope to the DSLR. And for a disclaimer, we do not have this exact model in our store, but we have the Pro version. So we have the Ascar FMA 180 Pro. And the Pro version is very similar. And we sell it for 590 euros. Now that I think about it, it would have been better choice for me to get the Pro version, because now I'm using dedicated astronomy camera and the mounting with this and dedicated astronomy camera gets tricky because the Pro version has a dovetail and on the top it has a spot where you can attach the ASI Air or a guide scope for example. So the Pro version makes life a lot more convenient. The DSLR camera I have here is the Canon EOS 6D Mark II but when we are talking about a DSLR or mirrorless camera in astrophotography, I would say that pretty much any DSLR or mirrorless camera will do. I would not recommend to spend thousands on a camera when we are talking about astrophotography on a budget. Moving on to the mount, we have the one and only Skywatcher Star Adventura 2i, which we sell it for 449 euros. This is undeniably one of the most popular star trackers there is and for a good reason. It's lightweight, portable and it's powered by batteries so it doesn't require external power supply. This is user-friendly and highly recommended for beginners. It has several modes on the side so it can be used for multiple purposes. The Star Adventura has a max payload capacity of 5 kilograms or 11 pounds, so keep it light. For everything to be as stable as possible, you want to use a portable and stable tripod that will last you a long time. With a system like this, you are able to capture stunning wide field images of space. And when it comes to astrophotography setups, it doesn't get much cheaper than this. Just nail your portal alignment and clear skies.